Hey there. If you want to learn how to speed bridge, then this is the right video for you. As you see in this video right here, I'm speed bridging. So, it's a pretty tough skill to learn. But uh, once you get the pattern and the timing down, you'll learn it. Well, not really, but you know what I mean. Also, only a small percentage of people who watch my videos are actually subscribed. And yes, that is real. So, if you do me a favor and subscribe, then it would mean a lot to me. As I am on my road to 1,000 subscribers. So, yeah. Make sure to like the video, and I hope you guys enjoy. Hello, everyone. My name is Avery the Cool Cat, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to speed bridge. Now, if you don't know what speed bridging is, it's a type of skill that Bed Wars players can use to get, all, get across larger gaps quicker. As you see, I've practiced a little bit in this world, and that's what I'm going to be teaching you today. So... Uh, if you already mastered this, then go ahead and hit the like and subscribe button. It really does me a favor, as I am on the road to 1,000 subscribers. Yes. And then, from there on, my channel will grow, and uh, I'll become famous, and also do collabs with other people. So, um, yeah, let's begin. Okay, so what you're going to do for- what you're going to want to do first is, you can go up at any height- uh, for me, it's personally, it's just four blocks. And you're going to want to hold down shift, press A and S, and then line yourself up to the edge of the block. Then place a block. You're going to want to place a block. And then unshift as soon as you place that block. So like this. So you're going to want to place a block, then unshift. Like that. So it'll go quicker. Like, if normal bridging like this, like with holding shift and pressing the S button to go backwards, is safer, but if you want to do it quicker, you can do that. You can do speed bridging, but it's a lot more dangerous and tricky to do. So, if you're, like, getting, or if you're speed bridging, like, above a lava, a lava pit, that's pretty risky. And, but if you just do normal bridging, then it's a lot safer. So... You gotta choose which scenario is best to do speed bridging, like say, I don't know, 20 blocks up in the air, that's pretty safe. I mean, you're still gonna take fall damage if you fall off, but still pretty safe. So, uh, I'm gonna, so, back to what I was saying, if you're gonna wanna speed bridge, you're gonna wanna go to the edge of the block, press shift and A, at A and S, then do that. As soon as you place the block, unshift. So once you got it down, close your eyes, and then see if you can do it with your eyes closed. So then, if you I, if you have it if you've done it with your eyes closed, then you pretty much mastered it already. But other types of speed bridging, which is like kind of like a uh, fruit berries, where he kind of block clutches on the back, like this. I can't do that. So. Um, uh, I've just started speed bridging, and in like two days I mastered it. Uh, sometimes if I don't get the angle right, then I fall off, which is pretty much the problem I do most of the time. So like that. Like if I get the angle wrong, then sometimes I mess up. So um, if you if you want to learn how to speed bridge, I recommend that you should show, uh, like I said, close your eyes after you think you've mastered it, and see if you can do it and if you done it with your eyes closed then you pretty much mastered it already so uh you're gonna want to as i said you're gonna want to go up hold down shift press a and s line yourself up so you're not moving anymore then as soon as you place a block on shift wow that was a lot so uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe for more of these tutorials because I am going to be doing more of these tutorials. Uh, I'm probably uploading this by late afternoon, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I don't know, maybe 5, 6, I don't know. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!